Hi SciChart users, today we're going to show you how to create a SciChart surface with SciChart WPF charts and enable DirectX hardware acceleration. The first thing you need to do, assuming that you have a new WPF application, is you need to reference the SciChart.DirectX assemblies. We're going to do this using NuGet, so we go into Package Manager Console and type in Install Package SciChart.DirectX. It's worth noting here that the SciChart.DirectX NuGet package does not come from NuGet.org, but actually SciChart has its own private NuGet feed. Details about the feed can be found out on the knowledge base article Getting Nightly Builds with NuGet. Once you have installed the packages, now you need to create a SciChart surface. The minimum that you need to create a SciChart surface is an X axis and a Y axis. Once you have an x-axis and a y-axis set on your side chart surface, you will see the grid lines with 0 to 10 shown on the chart. This is telling you that the chart is working correctly. The next thing that we're going to do is, in order to debug this, I'm going to add an annotation to the chart that will show you what type of renderer we're using. This step is optional and we're only doing it for debug purposes. As you can see, this SciChart surface is using the high speed render surface. This is a software renderer built into SciChart used by default. Our SciChart WPF applications use the DirectX renderer by default. You can see down here DirectX hardware acceleration is enabled. And we have some options here to switch between software rendering and DirectX. However, any application you create with SciChart itself will not have DirectX enabled by default. In order to enable this, we need to use the DirectX Helper class. The attached property that we need to set is S3D DirectX Helper Try Apply DirectX Renderer equals true. There is a second property that allows you to choose what render surface to fall back to if DirectX is not available. With this property set, we will fall back to the high speed render surface, a software renderer which renders quite quickly if DirectX is not available on the target computer. If anyone is developing their application in code and does not wish to set these properties in XAML, then the equivalent syntax is as follows. Etc. I'm going to take that out because we've done it in XAML. If we run our application, you should see that the type of render surface that it is applied to the side chart surface is now a direct 3D11 render surface. This is how you can check what type of rendering you are using. You can also check sidechartsurface.rendersurface.gettype.name to do the same thing. When deploying your applications, the application will fail unless the two libraries uh, included by SharpDX, SharpDX, DirectX 3D11, FX, X64 and X86 are included. These are two native DLLs which are provided by SharpDX and they have to be included with your application. Our SideChart Drawing DirectX NuGet package includes these DLLs by default. However, if you deploy by click once or have an installer, they will not be included by default. The way to do this is as follows. On your solution or project, add an existing item, go into Packages, SciChart DirectX and Build, and select all files and add these two libraries to your project. Now in the Properties window, select Copy Always. If you go into the Project Properties, if you are publishing by click once, under Application Files you will now see that SharpDX Direct 3D11 effects 64 and 86 are included. 
If you have a custom installer, you must make sure that these two DLLs are copied to the output directory. If you haven't got SciChart from NuGet, if you happen to have uh, referenced them from, from local disk, from the installer of SciChart, then you can also do this by going to C, Program Files, SciChart Limited, SciChart SDK, Lib, Net45, and the libraries are also included there. Make sure that you copy them to the output folder, both in your, your, your local application and also when you deploy to the client. Failure to do so will cause an exception to be thrown when you try to apply DirectX Renderer, which will say DLL not found and that these two libraries are missing. It may also fall back to software. We hope this helps instruct you how to apply DirectX to your SciChart surfaces in WPF. If you have any questions about how to do this or require further support, please visit support.scichart.com and we will be happy to answer your questions.